Hey internet, so I saw Essie Button do this video a couple of weeks ago and I thought it was a really cute one because I'm also an avid tea drinker. I've always tried to stay away from that sort of lawyer addiction of drinking like 50 cups of really bad coffee a day. What I do is I have one cup of really good coffee in the morning during the week and then I continue with tea from then on and that's usually quite a few cups of tea and I alternate what I drink throughout the day so I thought it would be fun to share with you my absolute tea favorites so let's get right into my all-time favorite teas starting with my favorite black tea isn't particularly unusual or exotic but my favorite black earl grey tea is by Twinnings it's just cheap and um, what's more special about this is how I brew my earl grey because I actually like it with ginger and honey and sometimes a little bit of lemon as well um, this is what I'll reach for if I'm sick or if I want something more caffeinated because I'll actually brew it quite strong as well um, and I just think it tastes so delicious with the ginger and honey it just tastes really fancy and interesting and even when it's cold it's still really really good um, if you tend to ignore your cups of tea like I sometimes do um, this one is one that tastes as good hot as it does cold because as it cools down you can start to taste the flavor of the ginger and citrus and honey even more um, so I love Earl Grey because in itself it's already kind of citrusy um, Earl Grey is a very scented black tea so that's my favorite black tea so if you guys are like me and you love that green tea they serve you in sushi bars, this favorite has come about after years of research. This is the Yamamoto Yama green tea. I started buying this when I was in Hawaii and then I found out that I could actually find it at pretty much any Asian grocery store over here. Um, it's a really quite high quality green tea. For me, the test of a really good green tea is whether it brews that really lovely bright green. I don't like the ones that brew brown. I feel like I get the most kind of benefit out of drinking the bright green green tea and also the most flavor as well. So you can see it comes in these individual little tea bags and sometimes I'll even, this is the only one out of all of these that I'll actually put in my handbag and take with me to places, which says a lot about how good it is. Um, if I'm going to be drinking a lot of tea in one day, I try and include at least some of this in that and it actually tastes as good cold as it does hot as well. So sometimes I make iced green tea and if you're addicted to the Starbucks iced green tea, this one is like that but like so much better because it's more of that kind of pure kind of almost like green tea ice cream flavor that is so delicious so I know for a fact that quite a few of you guys are students and I feel for you because that was me for like so many years up until quite recently um, so Trader Joe's organic yerba tea is quite a cheap version of this but you can find yerba at any health food store it tastes a little bit like green tea. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, it's a little bit of an acquired taste. It's definitely more of a kind of earthy taste than green tea is. Um, it brews a kind of yellowy color. I've heard some people say that it tastes like something else that's yellow, which I don't know how they would know, but um, I don't think it tastes bad at all. I think it's like an earthy kind of tasting tea. And I'm mentioning this not because it's my favorite flavor, although I actually do think that it tastes good. Um, I'm mentioning this because there's something about this tea, and this is proven, like there's a lot of research on this, that it is actually better than caffeine in terms of keeping you alert and in a good mood as well, which is kind of a weird combination. But Yerba Mate is a very ancient tea, and I have drunk a lot, a lot, a lot of this while revising because there's something about it that has always made me feel very alert, but with none of the negative health effects of drinking like energy drinks or caffeine pills or 10 gallons of coffee um, or all of those negative things that people in sort of more intense degrees like law um, tend to turn to. So I really, really recommend this um, for you if you are trying to kind of stay up a little bit later or you're feeling kind of under the weather or tired and you know that you need to snap out of it. So over the last year, I've discovered David's um, because my boyfriend really, really likes them. Um, so Chris recommended their green tea to me, but I still really prefer the Yamamoto Yama, um, although theirs is really good too. And um, Forever Nuts was the one that I kind of chose for myself once I started kind of going there on a regular basis. And this smells so good, you guys. Um, Forever Nuts says it's for almond lovers and it smells 
just like marzipan or apple pie because it actually does have apple flakes in it like dehydrated apples so it's really a great fruity tea even if you're not a fruity tea person i'm personally kind of not i've never been into those this one tastes very natural and it brews this gorgeous bright red because it actually has natural beet in it as well so it's a very kind of fruity slightly spicy kind of a little bit sweet but not very sweet tea and I don't know when I'm kind of bored and I want to eat something but I'm at my desk and I don't really have anything, this is the one that I reach for because the flavor of it is complex enough to be kind of very satisfying and the color is just so fun to look at as well. It's so pretty. My other favorite tea from David's was a gift actually for my birthday from my friend Talia and this is the Cocoa Mint Cream Tea which is also a fruit tea, very uncharacteristic for someone who does not like fruit teas but this one is actually very minty so if you are kind of really into mint tea or you want to be but you've never found one that you really like this one is so delicious I would not get this if you hate coconut however because it does have quite a strong coconut flavor it's like a coconut mint tea basically it's a little bit sweet but not very um, and again it's just really neat the way they use these dehydrated natural ingredients instead of artificial flavorings in David's tea um, I think it's just really quite a nice fruity subtle tea with quite a strong kind of a refreshing mint flavor this is actually the one that I reach for if I have, I don't know, like a sushi lunch or something like that you want to kind of get out of your mouth after, you just kind of want to change whatever flavor is going on with you, something minty is just lovely. Um, so I'll often reach for this after lunch in the afternoon or I don't know, just when I want kind of a refreshing tea flavor. And finally, basically tea I've been drinking my whole entire life is chamomile tea. It's kind of like a family thing to drink. Um, so this is the Bonomelli chamomile tea and it's one of the highest quality ones that I've ever tried. It's basically like the Italian one and I think... Yeah, it's, it's made in Italy, so these are actually chamomile flowers from Italy, which is kind of cool, and you guys are thinking, like, what is she talking about? Where am I going to get this? I get this at Walmart, you guys. It actually is available at quite a lot of grocery stores. I don't know if Italy is, like, the world's top producer of chamomile blossoms, but this tastes so nice and comforting to me. Maybe it's an acquired taste for some people. I've heard if you don't really like it, but you still want the sleep benefits of chamomile, which is a very relaxing herb, you can add a little squeeze of lemon juice into it and that kind of will enhance the flavor and make it more palatable for people who think it's kind of too herbally flavored for them um, but this is kind of my dessert tea I know a lot of people like fruit teas for after dinner to kind of wind down from my very busy days I'll usually have either another cup of green tea but if I've been kind of bored of green tea I'll have this right away after dinner or I'll have it right before bed let me know what your all-time favorite tea is in the comments below because I will completely try it um, I love trying new teas I think they are such a fun way to kind of I don't know stretch out your afternoon like tea breaks kind of were like forcefully rubbed into me when I was in England I don't know I didn't drink that much tea I guess before I went there but as a student I definitely kind of joined into that obsession and it really stuck with me thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye